listening to Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Well, in this video, we are going to take you around the Rose District and then go to some different neighborhoods and show you some different price points of homes that may fit your budget. And if you stick around until the end, we're going to show you one of the best kept secrets in the Rose District. You don't want to miss this. Come on, we'll get after it right now. My name is Jessica Ford and I am with the Ford Group at Chinoweth and Cohen and we get calls and texts every day from people just like you looking to make a move to Tulsa and the surrounding areas. So whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email or schedule a Zoom. We would love to hear from you. So if this is your very first time on our channel, make sure that you smash that subscribe button and you will be the first to know all that there is about moving to Tulsa, Oklahoma, living in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and the surrounding areas. Let us help you make a smooth move to Tulsa. So downtown Broken Arrow in the Rose District is a mixture of some old and some new. And so you'll see on the streets where they have some of the older brick, as well as there's some new condos down here, some new townhomes, and there's lots of shopping, boutiques, museums, and fine arts. So downtown we have Fleet Feet, we have Rocket Fizz, which is a nostalgic candy shop. There's the city municipal offices. There's tea places. This is a new art center where they host all sorts of classes, events, and creativity. And there's quite a few coffee shops, gelato shops, burger shops, and restaurants down here as well. So as I stated, if you stick around to the end of the video, that I was going to show you one of the best kept secrets of the Rose District. There is a book that is sold at the Broken Arrow Museum called Marmay the Mouse. And these little bronze statues can be found throughout downtown Broken Arrow in the Rose District of Marmay and his little butterfly friend. So as I mentioned, downtown Broken Arrow has a lot of older and newer shops down here. And one of the places that I absolutely love to go is Lauren A. Bakery. They started off as a bake shop doing wedding cakes and now they have a full-blown coffee shop. They are known for their chocolate chip cookies. Let's check this place out. So as you can see, Lauren A is a happening coffee shop downtown Broken Arrow. We had a delicious coffee and a sweet treat. And now we're gonna hop into what is available real estate wise in Broken Arrow. And we're gonna get after that right now. We enjoy the Splash Park and then on Saturdays, there's a farmer's market down here that has lots of local shops. Farmers bring their fresh produce in as well as local vendors have some cool treats for you to enjoy. We've been down here so many times with our kids and they're riding their scooters through the Splash Park coming down and getting gelato or grabbing dinner for a date night. We love downtown Broken Arrow. And in Broken Arrow, you have neighborhoods that are older, you have neighborhoods that are newer. You can still buy a lot of house in Broken Arrow for your money. One of the neighborhoods that we're in right now is Millicent Pond. It is approximately two miles from Highway 169, so it has easy access to the turnpike as well as the highway system. And you can buy houses in here for 450 to 500 and 50,000, approximately 3,000 square feet. The price points 
of these houses are going to be generally around $148 a square foot. Most of the homes in this neighborhood are going to be on a fourth of an acre or smaller and have a three car garage. This neighborhood does have an HOA present as well as pond and walking trails. One thing about Broken Arrow is that we do not have basements in our homes here because the soil in this area is not conducive for basements. So if you're from the north or the east, basements of three-story houses are very common there. You're not going to find that in Tulsa or the surrounding areas. Very conveniently located to the Creek Turnpike as well and centrally located in Broken Arrow to give you all of those city conveniences for restaurants and shopping and banking and any other medical needs that you may have. This neighborhood is in close proximity to all of that. So now we're in South Broken Arrow off of 131st Street in the lakes at Indian Springs. This neighborhood is approximately 20 years old. All the houses in here are on over a half an acre and there's lots of mature trees, sidewalks, and seclusion that is out here. Although you still have the convenience of being in close proximity to the city, which is about 15 to 20 minutes away. This neighborhood is further south in Broken Arrow that really has a lot of seclusion as well as maturity in their real estate. This neighborhood, the houses are approximately 725 and up to about 1.2 million. You'll see some new construction in this area, but most of the houses are going to be constructed approximately 20 years ago. That puts this price per square foot roughly around 100 and 45 a square, which would be typical for this area. So we're in Central Broken Arrow in Southern Trail Estates. This is a gated community. You can buy a new construction home in this neighborhood that is on a fourth of an acre up to 0.75 of an acre. New construction would be 550,000 for 3,500 square feet, which would put you approximately at $156 per square foot. This neighborhood is located off of 140 first and olive in between olive and garnet which is very centrally located to tulsa as well as broken arrow and union school districts it is convenient to anything that you would need city conveniences thank you for exploring broken arrow with me whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days we would absolutely love to help you make a smooth move to Tulsa or the surrounding areas. Give us a call, shoot us a text, private message us, or you can schedule a Zoom. And until next time, we hope to see you around town.